Hello, in this video I'm going to go over how to use the image plane and um, how to start our anatomy blockout. So the anatomy blockout um, uh, is where you would make each indiv individual piece of a muscle as its own separate subtool and it's supposed to teach you kind of the shape and the how these things are kind of put together um, so that will make pretty much all your sculpts it's a way to like learn your anatomy um, so that will inform every other kind of project that you do in the future with a character um, they all have similar anatomy just certain parts are bigger or smaller depending on um, gender and um, just their genetics and style so for in instance like right over here they have like kind of a bulk bulky guy over here so and it's more stylized and then yeah so there's a lot there's quite a variety here's a female one and then I can go over and I'll go back so I can't get back to the one I want was going to do um, this one is pretty good because he's he separated a lot of these um, pieces um, so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is use this as a reference um, as an image plane to build up my character so I'm gonna right click and save these I did this already so save all these images you want to save the front um, the three quarter the side this one this one and then stop you probably don't need these uncolored ones so I'm going to take those um, and then um, as you're working um, even before you work I would suggest you watch the landmarks of the human body by Proko um, they have or they made a really cool video on um, all the little pieces of the body that um, they're called landmarks that are pretty much the bones that poke out from the muscle that don't really change between people um, they might land a little bit differently in different places but they're usually exposed because no muscle or fat is on top of them so um, yeah so watch that video they will be really informative and then also watch for them in here um, there's also one on proportions might be a good one I think it's right over here that's a good one to look into also so download those and then go to ZBrush okay so what you'll need to do to start make sure you just have like a sphere you start with a model that's um, a polymesh 3d and then what you'll need to do is go to texture and go to the circle and line and dock it then over here I'll go over and say load image um, if you don't see it it'll be down here so click on image plane and then if reference views is closed click on reference views then go to load image and navigate to where your brushes are right. okay so I'm gonna select my front image oops um, actually make sure that you're on the front tab here there we are and then load your image open like that and then um, if you're having a hard time figuring out where your sphere should go um, make sure that you're on the front view so turn your butt around like this and make sure if you hold down shift it should snap it to the front and then go and move it use your zoom your 3d zoom like that and then place it on the top of the cranium that'd be a good place to put it something like that um, you're gonna have to envision it because this guy has some hair um, Unfortunately, it might be a little more difficult than if he was bald. And then once you've got that position, then you store the view. So 
what this is doing is it's it's saving your location with the image so um, the bad thing about this tool is if you don't it's all by eye so if I go to the back so I did this before um, if I go to load image I'll make a bad example and then I'll scale it up and do this and store view so if, see my head is huge compared to this so if I do a bunch of sculpts on this side trying to get the shape of the head on that side like this and smashing it in and trying to get it to work and then say that if that's good and then I go to the front now that's way off right so that's a bad thing about using these this kind of image plane um, so you have to be take the time to make this look right um, so I'm going to undo that and then I'm going to go to the back and then I'm going to go um, I already imported the image so load image I'm just going to scale this down make sure you're directly in the back and then I'm going to move this to be about the cranium something like that store view and look at the front so that looks okay and then um, I would put one on the left and say load image and then position this so that something like that say store view so this is not a perfect system. Um, look, and I accidentally made a mistake, mistake there. So see how this is not directly in the side. So I need to fix that. Um, just move it and then say store view. Just check all of them. Make sure that you don't have any rotation on them. And then um, some mistakes I've seen students use. Um, don't use this to move things when just especially when you're first doing putting in your um, when you're placing your your first um, sphere and placing it into the scene and putting in your image planes um, so don't use that when doing this and then um, another mistake I've been seeing um, that you try to position it through using this. Um, we use this part over here. If you're having a hard time seeing when you're sculpting, this will move closer to the area that you're sculpting to. So for instance, for this head, I'll go over and get this closer to the skull. And then I'll go to the left, start moving that to be closer, like that. And then go to my back and checking that side, a little wider in the back. And then um, when you're done with that, then you just say actual, and I'll take you back to the actual screen space scale. And then another tip, so I'll dock this, is to use the layout, um, use the customize option to bring in your camera positions and the model opacity. So the model opacity gives you the option to look through the, 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 um, your geometry so you can sculpt through it. Um, so that's a really good tip. So when you're doing this, then you just do one piece at a time, go over and say append. I'm just gonna make the jaw basically. And 90% of the time I'll use a sphere 3D and then just reshape it. So I'm gonna put it in there. Sometimes you have to move it down to see it and then go back over here and move it again. So, like this, 
and then move this over so I'll get the general shape down or position and then I can zoom up on it up Ooh, and then here's another mistake I forgot to put my mirror on so every sub tool you need to push X and I accidentally didn't do that right so um, in the previous video I put my mirror and weld here so I can click that um, it's mirroring on the wrong side that I want so I flip it first with the mirror then do mirror and weld go and shape it something like this so there we go I might move this forward a bit okay and then I go back to actual and I have my head and then you just steadily do one piece at a time um, so I'm going to put the neck And for this one, I probably will use Dynamesh and bring down the resolution. And then I'm gonna move this down to the next space. And go to left. sure my mirrors on don't do the exact same thing I messed up on and then go over zoom up on it and then do the left so this bump comes out a bit like that um, okay, and then I will do next part. So I can duplicate these. I'm going to put the use the neck. Oop. So if that happens, that's because I have mirror on while I'm moving it. So I'm going to do that, scale it down. Like this. And I have some display weirdness. Turn off the model opacity for now. And then I'm going to just move and rotate. smooth it out if it's you're having a hard time smoothing so if I go over to I'll do go back to actual hit F to get closer to this um, it looks like my resolution on this is too high so I have Dynamesh remember control and drag on the outside we'll use Dynamesh and just make sure that your resolution is slow enough or low enough that you can edit these quickly because they're very simple shapes no um, then I'm just gonna go over 
take my scale and move it down and go to the left side seeing how that so I think these need to be moved forward a bit Okay, and then um, here we go, and then I'll probably have to go to my neck, push that in a bit so that this neck muscle is pushed in. So it's always like trying your best on the next on the next piece, doing one piece at a time, and then seeing how the next piece fits. Um, a lot of muscles will have tapering, so you can do that by. I'll hide the. Um, hide this one. Go to this one. Um, the way to do that, you can use pinch or smooth, um, or inflate by holding down Alt. You can do like a pinching kind of effect. So um, you'll see that shape a lot with muscles. So this is one of those tasks that will take a bit of time, but should help you with everything that you make in the future. Just try to memorize um, some things that might help is to memorize the names um, as you're making them, or like put a name to them. And then try to remember how these things are slotting together. Um, use the three quarter views of your images by just bringing them up on, on another monitor um, or using pure ref to look at them. That way um, some things are a bit unclear when they're only at the front side and back view. So um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.